for your drawing instructions kindergarten. This is the picture of the police officer that we're all going to try and draw together. Now before we start, I want to take a look at some of the details in this picture. When I look at it, I can see that there is a police officer and he's holding his radio or walkie talkie. Over on the road, I can see a police officer driving in their car. And up in the sky, I even see a police helicopter. Sometimes they use those to check on the city and do their patrols. Over here, I can see the police station. And then I see some extra details like some hills and some trees. When we look at our picture today, kindergarten, we want to try and look and see what shapes we can see so that we can draw the same ones together. I want to start by looking for some circles. When I look, I see a circle head here on the police officer. I see another circle for this police officer's head. Where else do I see a circle? Hmm. I see a circle on the door handle. I see a circle up here for the sun. And for right now, oh, I see some, I spied some on the radio down here. So it looks like we're gonna need lots of circles. I wonder if we're gonna need to use any squares. Do you see any? Hmm, I know that whenever we draw Mat Man, we always give him a square body and a square neck. We might see them oh, in these details on the police station this and in the window shape and even on those smaller boxes in the window there's those smaller squares and I see the same shape over here when I look at this picture I can also look for some you know what shape this is rectangles I know Mat Man has rectangle legs and rectangle arms. Oh, it looks like the walkie talkie is a rectangle. It's got a little antenna on it that's a rectangle. When I look over here at the police car, you can see that that police car looks like a nice long rectangle. And even the top part of the police car. Looks like two more rectangles, like this, kind of a, a bigger one and then a skinnier one. Even the lights or the sirens on top of the police car look like rectangles. And oh, there's even lights down here. And they're a rectangle shape too. When I look up at the helicopter, I can see the bottom of the helicopter has rectangles and the little legs that attach it to the helicopter. And this is the blade on top of the helicopter, and it's a big rectangle too. Lots and lots and lots of rectangles. There's even one here on the tail of the helicopter. When I look at the police station, it's a big rectangle shape at the bottom. Oh, there's a square that I missed. And there's a rectangle on top, and another rectangle on top of that. Wow, 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 lots of rectangles. Hmm, when I look at these trees, the shape for the bottom of them even looks like a rectangle. Oh, down here there's little teeny tiny rectangles too. Another shape that I can look for is, you guessed it, an oval. I remember Matt Man's feet are always made out of ovals. And the helicopter looks like an oval. And the blade that goes at the back of the helicopter looks like an oval. Great. I also see another shape. And it looks like a half a circle. We can call that shape our semicircle. And I can see that we can use it for the wheels down here and the window in the helicopter. I think there's another shape 
is 21 the triangle. I can see that on the sun, there's lots of little triangle shapes like this. And I think that's all the triangles. There's not very many of those ones. Boys and girls, this is the picture that we want to make. And we want to try and use those same shapes. I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to get my paper that I have for writing. Now, I know that the lines are going to be for my words. So I need to try to use the top part of my paper to draw my picture. I'm going to start kind of close to this line right here. And I'm going to try and draw Matt Man first. I'm going to draw a circle head, a square neck, a square body, rectangle legs, and arms, oval feet. And I know Matt Man has five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And on the other hand, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to draw the details that I see on Matt Man, like the ears and the smile, the nose, and two eyes. Then I want to try and make it look like a police officer. So when I draw a police hat, I like make a line that goes up on both sides. And then I attach them together almost with a little rainbow shape. I'm going to make the top part of the hat. And I'm going to try and squeeze in a little badge, too. I'm going to go down and make the police officer's belt, some rectangles. I'm going to make the shirt, some triangles there. I'm going to even try and make a little badge on the police officer's shirt. Then in the picture, I see that in his hand, he has his radio. I'm going to try and make that radio like this and oh I forgot maybe he has some handcuffs and uh, he's got his radio in his hand then I want to go and try to style the other details now that I've drawn Matt Matt I think right behind him I see the police station here so I'm gonna try and draw that next I'm gonna make a big long rectangle for the bottom square for the top, then I see another rectangle and another little square. I see that there's a door for the police station, that's a rectangle shape. Then there's a window that looks like a square and then I missed it last time but there is a little semicircle on top so I'm going to draw that semicircle. Inside the window, there's four little squares, so I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four. I can see those same squares are in the door, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I even remember we said there's a little circle door handle there. When I look in the second one, I see that there's supposed to be a square, the semicircle on top, I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. I don't have as much room. And I see there's little rectangle shapes underneath. Like that. I see that up here on the sign it says police station. And I'm going to try and write all those letters that I see in the sign. So that when people look at it, they know that it says police station. When I think I'm all done the police station, I can look and see what detail would I like to make next. So I made the police officer at the bottom and the building behind him. Now I think I'll go over and draw this car, the police car, over here. I can see that to draw the police car, I need a rectangle shape. Like this. And then a smaller rectangle on top. I can see that I need a skinny rectangle on top of that one. 
and then two smaller rectangles so that they can act like the sirens that are on top of a police car. At the bottom, I see those two semicircle wheels, and I see some skinny rectangles for the lights in the front of the car. And I see a police badge. To make the police badge, I make the letter U. I make a bump and a bump like that. Maybe I see the word for police car right there. So maybe it'll be easier if I go like this. I'm going to write the word police. I'm just going to look at those same letters that I see in the picture. P-O-L-I-C-E like that. And I can see there's even a little person inside the car. So I see they use a semicircle body, and a circle head, some semicircle ears, a little police officer face. And their hand is a rectangle, but it's sticking up out the window. So it looks like he's waving to his police officer friend like this. I to the other arm come down over here. Oh, I missed those little squares for the lights. I'm going to go and add them. I have my police car. Maybe I'll put some lines up here. And that kind of saying, wee, wee, like we hear for the police car siren. When I look, I can see that there's supposed to be a little road that the car can drive to get to the police station and the police officer. Behind the police car, up in the sky, I remember we said that was a police helicopter. I'm going to try and draw that police helicopter, but I might have to make it a little bit smaller because I don't have a lot of room left. So I'm going to make an oval shape for the helicopter. I'm going to give it a rectangle tail, and then another oval here for the blade at the back. A little rectangle that goes up. And then a long rectangle that acts like the blade on the top. I see it has a semicircle window. It's got two little rectangle legs. And then a long rectangle at the bottom. And that's so that it can land on the ground. When I look at the police helicopter, I can see that it has a badge on it too. So I'm going to make the letter U and then the letter W and the word police. So I'm going to write those same letters again. P-O-L-I-C-E. Police. I have the... Let me check this picture again. I have the car. I have the police officer. I have the police station. And I have the police helicopter, but oh, I know. I'm missing these details. So I'm going to go and add them to my picture. I just need to make a wavy line for the hill. I'm going to make some rectangles for the bottom of my tree. And then a cloud shape on top. I'll make another tree over here. A cloud shape on top. And I don't have a lot of room, so I'm going to have to make a tiny sunshine. I'm going to make a circle for my sun. And then some small triangles to go around it. Like that. I think, I'm going to check again, but I think I have all the details. I have the police officer from the two pictures. I have the police car. I have the police helicopter. I have the police station. And I have my details. When you're all done drawing your picture kindergarten, we're going to get ready to write some words. You finish up your picture, and then we'll write some words.